This video is designed to instruct you how to collect your urine for analysis for cadmium content. Some sources of cadmium include cigarette smoke and various types of food. If you are agree to participate, you will be receiving a collection kit in the mail. It includes a collection cup for urine, the paper bag that it goes in, your consent form, and a bar of soap and paper towels for you to clean your hands. It is important that you completely fill out and sign your consent form so that we can pick it up along with the urine sample at our designated pickup time. When you give your sample, it will need to be your first morning void. If you wish, you may leave your cup in its stale wrapper on the back of the toilet the night before so that you remember in the morning. Be sure to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water before you open your package to collect. When you're ready to collect your sample, unwrap your packaging outside the urine cup. Make sure that you write your name and date on the outside. Then you can unscrew the pink lid, and now you're ready to collect. Please aim to fill your cup halfway full with urine. On the left in this photo, the cup is not full enough. On the right, the cup is too full. The cup in the middle shows the appropriate amount of urine to collect. Please be sure to wipe off any excess urine from the outside of the cup before you put it in the outer Please screw the lid on properly and tightly, like the container on your left, so that it will not spill during transit. After collection, you will place your urine cup in the smaller Ziploc bag and zip it tightly. Please fill out the information in the blanks on the brown paper bag included in your kit, then place the urine sample, which is already inside the small Ziploc bag, in the brown paper bag. Then place the brown paper bag in the larger Ziploc bag and zip it shut. You'll leave it in your refrigerator until a member of our team comes to your house to pick it up. This video was produced by Rebecca Asher, Greg Hedin, and Katherine Lewick from the University of Arizona in the Public Health Program. Special thanks to Sally Lataw.